guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is going to be a really special video. We're out at Quintero Golf Club up in Peora, Arizona. Um, as you can see here, you guys might know her, we have Paige Spranick here <laughs> playing with us today. Um, so really excited to be out here. I've never played here before and I think she's played here maybe once or twice a while back. So yeah, we're just going to have a fun uh, day today and show you guys around. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about course management and how we see each hole a little bit differently and we're just going to talk through what we see, how we're going to play it, and uh, take you along with us today. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Hole one, it's a par five, it's 485 yards. It's all uphill, slight dog leg to the right, and really tight fairway and lined up with some bunkers. All right, Paige, what are you thinking here? Okay, so I have about 260 to the hole. Um, it's a little wet and cold right now, so I'm gonna take my three wood just to get up as much as I can. Um, there, if I was playing smart or in a tournament, I would probably take something to avoid uh, the bunker that's on the right side, but since we're just playing for fun, I'm just gonna take three wood and hit it up there. But most of the time, if we're talking course management, you always want to think, especially on par fives, the number that you have in that you feel really comfortable with. So either that's like your 100 yard shot, your 50 yard shot, um, whatever it may be, but always lay up to that number if you can't go for it. Um, and then always, if you're gonna lay up, lay up. So avoid bunkers, avoid trouble, and pick a club that's not gonna go into anything. So basically do the exact opposite of everything I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're out here having fun, why not? <laughs> All right, it's up the left side, it'll be okay. So I have 243 here left. Um, it's uphill all the way. Um, since this is part five and it's our first hole, I'm just gonna rip a three wood and um, try to get it up there. All right, Paris pulled that up the left side. I think it'll be a good angle coming in. All right. So I have 129, um, kind of a severe down, the ball's below my feet, um, wind's a little into me. And normally when the ball is below your feet, it's gonna tend to um, move it to the right. So something that I like to do is put my front foot down the slope. That way um, it kind of offsets it, you have a little more balance and um, it will promote more of a draw to kind of even out the slope. And in return, when the ball is above your feet, you put your front foot up the slope. So you would normally go left. And if you do that, it kind of offsets it. So always remember front foot down the slope when you have severe below or above your feet. Line. And then do you pick out a target on the left-hand side that you want? I do, and I'm gonna do that especially for um, this shot. Since I'm in the rough, I don't have a great lie. There's also a deep bunker on the right side that if I'm in it, I'm gonna short side myself. So sometimes when you're in situations like this, you need to be realistic with your expectations. And so I'm going towards the left, probably left part of that green. Anywhere around there is totally fine. If I miss it, I'm okay. I just don't want to put myself in more trouble and compound problems. Smart, there's a lot of room to the left. So she's gonna just aim over there and she misses, it'll just be probably right in front. She did exactly what she wanted right there. It's up the left side. And it should feed towards the hole. Yeah, it's just rolled through right, right in the back. Really good shot. All right guys, so a little too much club there, uh, but I have 52 left. Um, right now I have a little bit of a downhill shot to the flag, so I'm gonna kind of play to the front yardage here. Heard the greens are a little fast and firm out here, so um, that's one thing that's important on your approach shots too, is if you have like a middle pin and you know the greens are fast, like a front yardage is always a safe um, shot. Okay, really well done right there. Thing rolled out, she's probably got about six, seven feet left up the hill. So it looks like Paige just rolled through the green. She's on the back, kind of first or second cut, and she's got a fast one coming down the hill. Okay, that was well played right there. I had a pretty quick um, shot, chip shot, with a lot of green to work with. Something I like to do for fast, firm greens is actually open up my club face. That's all you pretty much have to do. And when I come through it, it's basically just a pretty, like a normal chip shot. Um, that way you just put a little extra spin on it. 
when they're firm and they're fast out of the rough especially even though I do have a lot of green to work with by hitting that spinner shot it actually kind of offsets everything else so you can hit a basic chip, chip shot and it will just check a couple times and then roll out and you definitely have to be confident in your chipping to do something like that because <laughs> this was a really tough shot I probably would have just bump and run it because I don't I don't have that kind of touch and uh, that was really well played All right, good par. Okay, so we have number 11 here. It's par four, 370. Um, fairly wide open uh, compared to most of the fairways here. You just wanna take it up that right side with a pin in the middle of the green. Really doesn't matter which side of the fairway you're on. So this is one where you just kind of grip it and rip it and uh, bombs away. All right, Paige bombed one down here, dead center again. <laughs> so I have 135 in. Um, it's a little uphill, but the wind is a little down, but a little bit more um, right to left. I'm slightly in between clubs. Uh, the ball's not flying that far right now since it is colder and it's a little bit damp right now. So I, I, I would normally hit a nine, but I'm thinking I might go up to an eight, but I'm now going back to maybe hitting the nine since so it is downwind and the greens are firm. Um, so when greens are firm, you usually want to get front yardage. And so um, you need to know how far you carry the ball. Um, that's the most important thing, especially on a shot like this where a bit of a false front. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going back and forth, but I think I'm going to take the eight and hit more of a half controlled shot instead of trying to hit a full uh, nine iron. Oh, this looks good. Just right of the pin drawn over just a little. And uh, it's all over it. Great golf shot, well done. So I want 30 left. Um, same kind of play as the last hole with that back pin out there. I'm gonna kind of play it alone, about 10 yards short of that and just kind of let it run up to the hole. So normally I would play like a choke down nine iron from about 130, but since I know like the, the ball's rolling out a lot out here, I'm gonna hit my 125 um, pitching wedge. Paris hit a gem, just a little bit left of the pin. Oh, it's spun. Okay, it's right in front, should be okay. This is a massive green, one of the, probably the bigger ones uh, at Quintero. Uh, Paige hit a really good one. She's got about 20 feet past the pin, and then Paris has like a 45 footer uh, <laughs> coming down. So, should be a fun putt. All right, really well done. So I am a pin in type of person. Um, if I was playing competitively, I would probably take it out five feet, maybe 10 feet and in depending, but most of the time I'll just keep it in uh, for fun. It's just lazy, I don't wanna take it out and in all the time. Uh, but for short parts, sometimes it is a little distracting for me. So for especially like three feet in, I will definitely take it out, um, except for just like fun rounds of golf. What do you do? Um, so I'm kind of the same actually for the long putts as you guys just saw. Um, I also like to keep the pin in, but definitely I think 10 feet and in for me is kind of my range. Um, or maybe even 15 if I'm being honest, then I kind of like to take the pin out. But you can use it like to your advantage too. So if like you had a putt that was right. right here, I would leave the pin in all day long because you can actually use the line to help you read it. Um, which is probably like not what they thought of when for rules or anything. Um, but you can be strategic about leaving it in or taking it out. Um, but I just don't really put that much thought into my golf game. So I <laughs> just leave it in. All right, good pars. All right, guys, this is hole number 12 here. It's a 384 yard um, par four. Bunker's covered on the left right here, so, and it kind of looks like it opens up on the right, but I'm um, sure something just on the center of the fairway is good here. Paige just bombed another one down the middle. Uh, what do you got left, Paige? I have like 165 in. 
um, looks a little bit uphill. The pin looks front, which it's a little bit harder when the greens are firm and I'm gonna hit a six iron. Again, I'm not looking to get it super close, just on the green to give me a good look at a birdie opportunity, but to not put myself in too much uh, trouble here. All right, Paige pulled it just a tiny bit, just left of the pin, came up just a little short. Now oh, she hit this one crispy, just a little left of the pin. And I think she's on. Paige ended up uh, just right here in the fringe. I was, I'm in kind of struggle with my club selection um, just because the greens are firm and you don't, I, if I hit five, it would have hit on and would have kicked really far. And with that pill, it just was, <laughs> I should have hit five, but it's okay. Um, I have a lot of green to work with, which makes the shot a lot easier. Goal is to land it like right around here. I usually try to find like a circle where I want to land it and um, just try to focus on that. And then Paris ended up about 30 feet left of the pin and uh, she should have a straightforward putt. Really well done. She's probably got about four or five feet left. We have hole 14. It is 154. Uh, pin is in the front. There's obviously water that you don't want to go in and there's that front bunker too. So anything on the right side kind of looks like it's going to feed back and down towards the pin. So just don't hit in the water. Uh, Paige pulled this just a tiny bit left of the pin. Paris pulled this just a little left of the pin as well. It's got to go, and it is. It's, she's on the green, but she's going to have about a 60-footer coming back. <laughs> <That's> another long <laughs> So that'll be fun. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I um, kind of left myself about a 40-foot putt down the hill. Um, unplanned, but, uh, you know, just working on some lag putting today. <laughs> I have a bunker shot. The sand feels a bit wet and dense, but not like there's a lot of it, um, like it's like just a short layer of sand. Um, looks like it runs away from the pin, so I'm gonna have to spin this pretty fast. What I do when I wanna spin it and get it up is I open up the club, have a very wide stance, drop my hands and throw them at the ball. So it's like this motion. That way you can just get right underneath it. Um, I do this pretty much for all of my bunker shots, but when you want to get higher and more spin, you really throw it harder. When the sand's wet, um, just have a little bit more speed through it, and that's actually going to really help you for this shot to get more spin on it. Yeah, that's a really good tip right there to create that extra spin, especially on a downhiller. Oh, what a golf shot. That was, that was really well done. That was a great up and down. Thank you. Yep. All right. Good lag putting, good bunker shot. 